the naturalization ceremony in uh, the Oregon Capitol. And I want to particularly thank Secretary of State Dennis Richardson and former State Representative Julie Parrish, who started this event to make it a very special day for those of you who are, are taking the oath today. So thank you for being here. I want to thank the Poet Laureate for being here and everyone uh, who's helped uh, make this possible. And thank you, uh, Ms. Ford, for uh, the national anthem. I'm not sure where she went. Um, that was beautiful. And Ms. Andrus, thank you for your help today. Um, most of all, I want to thank you and welcome and celebrate all of you who are here today uh, to become citizens. I know when I do this ceremony, I am humbled and in awe of what it takes to get to where you are today. And so thank you for your commitment to the principles and values and what it means to become an American citizen. So thank you for being here today. You come from a diverse set of backgrounds, from Canada, from Ghana, Iraq, Italy, Mexico, Moldova, and the Ukraine. Thank you. That diversity enriches all of us here in our country and in the state of Oregon. So we're just so very pleased that you're here today. You today are assuming the full mantle of the privileges and responsibilities of being an American. And that involves a whole lot. The commitment to freedom of speech and freedom of religion and the responsibility of being able to vote. So I hope you take the, that responsibility very seriously, and I hope you all consider someday even running for office. Because the diversity and experience you bring, we need at all levels of government. So thank you again. Our democracy relies on you, relies on public involvement, people voting, and being engaged citizens. So I hope this is not the end of a journey, but just the beginning of another journey, being a very engaged citizen. So thank you so much for being here. And congratulations.